Hello everyone, this is Princess Farron, and once again, I welcome you to Final Fantasy XIV in Eosia. So we're here in Old Britannia, in front of the Miketo's Amphitheater, to do another seasonal event. The Valentine's seasonal quest. Valentine's, as they say here in Final Fantasy XIV. Check out these lovely decorations. So let's get it started. Stock two is that. Tis the season of ardor and affection, and romance is thick upon the air. I, the set of House Valentine, entreat you, dear Swan, to breathe deep and take love's richness, its clawing rosy radiance into your bosom. Hold now a moment, traveller. His face. Yes, I know it well. You are love's humblest servant, Arthur and Adoration's foremost champion. Oh, what a delight it is to see you once again. And it's such blessed times as these. Alas, every rose has its thorns, and even this fairest of seasons is not without its trials. Indeed, trouble is afoot, and it threatens the hearts of all in this realm. Do you recall a Moogle by the name of Kukukuk? Self styled with an efficient maestro of myriad matters of the heart. Heart shaped palm? Bring any bells? Oh, excellent! For these woes we speak of are specifically heats. Valentine's Day is a joyous occasion, but always, but always so for those who quit themselves as post muggles of the realm. Cup 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 has his poor post form delivering heartwarming misses far and wide, he and fever, though he would never admit it. I fear he's at wit's end. But you, benevolent adventurer that you are, can provide precisely what I said Herald requires oh so desperately. Pray, lend Cup 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 your talents and retrieve him from the edge whereupon his wits now teeter so precariously. A working adventurer is a happy adventurer. Marvelous! You are a hero through and through. Cup, 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 will be so relieved. I shall fetch him at once. Why could it be? So it is. June returned again this year to aid us in another Valentine's Day celebration, have you? Once an emissary of love, always an emissary of love, Kapow. Now then, I hear from a street that you would help me in my honor of need, for which I am most grateful. However, it is not a work itself that vexes me, but rather a calling of mine. A clueless courier newly inducted into our vocation. Every Valentine's Day, we emissaries are overtaxed, and this season has proven no exception. I had hoped to nip this issue in the bud by petitioning the deputy Boosmuggle for a helping paw or two. He obliged, but has sent someone altogether worthless and a disciplined terror. <laughs> to make matters worse, the bad thing is painfully ignorant in the ways of the heart. You should hear the way she, she speaks to the clientele. What an ugly gift! Love must be blind! And such nonsense. Left to her own devices, I fear she will Valentine's Day, Kapow. Even all the axe you cried, it was, it's very much with me. I assure you, but I can't rightly turn away the various distances from which I packed. I would come across as the most wretched ingrate to ever have wings. Yet I haven't the time to train her, let alone the patience. Fret not, our Harriet Herald. You are right to have sought our help, for I have come upon the cleverest of solutions. 
we shall enlist the help of our doughty adventurer and house valentine's very own Astrid to accompany set callous counter courier you cannot be surprised at my suggestion it is a most natural fit Jude so skilled in so many subjects will teach you assistant to delegate up of the post while Astrid shall instruct a Mughal in the ways of Arthur in adoration there a splendid plan if I do say so myself are you both sure you are up for the task is it too great to bother What a seasonable relief it be, Kupo! I shall bring her to you at once, for there is not a moment to lose! They have a chocobo joining us this year. Gotta love chocobos. It was a year which they did the same for a Christmas celebration, Starlight celebration. Daughter to the man meant to receive this. 
Oh yes, uh, there was something about her training at a culinary guild, I think. My memory's hazy. We ought to make the delivery first. Um, you make an interesting point. The man is out on an errand, yes? And since he is with the carpenter skill, it stands to reason he is out collecting lumber. From the votary skill, like as not. She'll start a search there for a volunteer's day gift must be delivered straight into the recipients. Recipients and. Okay. Indeed. And a funny one at that. It is my 
my pleasure to tell you, Pukti, that love is a many splendor thing, and we each have our own unique way of expressing it. The friendship between that girl and her adventurer companion is a perfect example. That gift which appeared mere free prey to you was a treasure in her eyes. It's important for adventurers to check in with their loved ones. It is all said that no news is good news, but I very much doubt that to be the case for those in your line of work. So, you mean to say this was her friend's way of telling that young woman that all is well? Their way of assuaging any worries she might be harboring about their safety? Hmm, how fascinating! <laughs> to be sure, were I to be separated from my bird here by expensive scenes or vast mountain ranges, I'd like to hear from him from time to time. Perhaps not every day, that would be irksome. But to know that he's in good health would not be altogether disagreeable, I suppose. Ourselves in thought, not when a parcel sits burning a hole in my satchel cabal. Our next delivery takes us to Akala Falls. Let's away! strides in the right direction. You certainly seem more attuned to the ways of the heart than when we first made your acquaintance at any rate. Now that all three parcels have reached the right hands, let us return to Miketo's amphitheater. No doubt Captain Cup is anxious to know how Bhakti fought. I 
first imagined it to be. There are hidden steps, hidden steps to it, which I didn't see before. I may not be an expert on the subject yet, but I would like to think my ignorance is not quite as dire as it once was. You are making progress, certainly. I am glad of it. And just so long as you need not offend anyone, I could not ask for more. Anywho, I am indebted to you, Astrid Jude. You have spared at least three citizens of the realm from potential cruelty. However, unintended it might have been. Now I am being too harsh. I think you have shown a true concerted effort to understand the labyrinthian complexities of the heart. And as a reward, I am inclined to set you another task. In truth, your work is not yet finished. Much more is yet to be done this Valentine's Day, Kippa. When you've decided, speak with me again, and I shall tell you all about it. No Roblox. The Barney, post wiggle Barney. There you are, and not a moment too soon. Your unwavering devotion to the ways of order and affection, love and romance, or chipping intimacy is both commendable and deeply appreciated. So to the task that we just spoke, it involves a woman by the name of Eloise, only just posted a parcel with no small amount of urgency. However, she did return, begging us to call off its delivery. A highly unusual request, and her eyes between all sorts of well. She fled straight away, er, I could even get my bearings, let alone ask what troubles her so. Will you help me seek her out? You are she kind. Now as for this young woman, she is an elegant of great beauty, and there should not be an easy one to overlook. As I saw her, she had just made a sharp left at a fork off near the road. Left my eyes see me. To the left, you say. That way lies the great low crowry, if I'm not mistaken. I will accompany you there, Kup Kupta Kup. Jude, fuck you, Pico. You two will look in the nothing at all time. Should we come upon her before we do? Come find us at the crowry. Frantic flight as well. Kapka still had to be kept as happy theater, correct? I'll go to him at once. Actually, he. Never mind, she's already gone. I suppose she'll go and fetch him then, shall I? Meet us at the happy theater, Jude, and do hurry. You wouldn't want her dashing off again. Thank you. 
First, let me start by saying how grateful I am that you would think to come and check on me. The truth of the matter is, I've received an offer of marriage. I meant to accept. Which is why I came to you initially, Kapka, to see that my reply would be delivered safely. However, as I was writing to tell him yes, I found myself hesitating more than I ought to have been. I began to wonder if I was making a terrible decision. Not only for me, but for him as well. The man who seeks my hand is of his guardian ability. And goes by the name of Ezelmil. At the moment, he is... well, he is quite ill. And is seeking treatment here in Gridania. Do not min misunderstand me, I was overjoyed to hear of his devotion. A life spent with him would be a wonderful thing. But I'm no noble. I'm of the most common stock. No more special than a weed underfoot. I wasn't raised with the aristocratic manners a future wife of his requires. Who am I to marry into nobility? I must destroy my previous missive and pen a new letter. One telling him I can go through with it. But that one, I'll hand deliver. I won't have an emissary of love delivering such ill tidings. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert in the ways of heart, but isn't love the desire to be with someone forever or not? The desire for a trusted partner in this world, someone with whom you can share your joys and your woes? If you care for him, be with him. Wouldn't it upset you to do anything but? It certainly seems to have. I don't have much experience with this, but I know that for I and my chocobo to be separated, I wouldn't like it. Not a bit. I don't believe giving up is a solution, Kippa. Verily, I myself am of this god in ability, and curse does speak from a place of authority. Each of our houses has its own traditions. It is our titles that connect us, not our principles. Before making your decision, seek the counsel of your beloved and learn of his family values. I could not agree more. After all, it is doubts you harbor, not a lack of affection. If you believe his heart to be yours entire, then trust that he will listen to your troubles, that you and he can solve them together. Why not send another more letter? Explain what it is that vexes you. Yes, I see your point. It's unfair of me to hide my feelings like this. He's owed my honesty, but how does one even write such a letter? I wouldn't know where to begin. Perhaps you should explain your apprehension about fulfilling your duties as a wife to a man of a great house. Make it clear that should you decide to join his social media, you will require time to study, learn, and train before you are comfortable. A word of warning though, to compromise the very woman you are in order to bend to the rigors of nobility, may leave you jaded, haggard, and altogether infuriated. Thus, I suggest you first inquire as to whether his family is capable of accepting you as you are. Why not simply write down all your worries? I don't fancy myself a moment of passions or what have you, but there's something to be said for getting everything out in the open. All these ideas have a great deal of merit and each should be given due consideration. Good. What say you? Which of these notions has struck a chord with you? Tell him exactly what concerns you. Thank you for your insight, everyone. I believe I know what I must do now. Then let us fetch your parchment, quill and ink. Fortunate that you have us, you know. 
for we emissaries are never far from instruments of the post. Why, I shall even provide you with Valentine State theme stationery. My darling is likely in Gentry's ward. I know he enjoys sitting in solitude on a bench not far from the gates. Who be there like as not? Then that's where we shall try first. We will be back with his response as soon as we are able. Tell the hell, bird loves work away. I refuse to stand idly by while that is decided without me. That does it. I am going to the Gentry's Ward this instant. Eloise, you can't! And she's gone. Our duty as emissaries of love and affection demands we see that love won't last for this trying time. Show me to at the gate of Gentry's Ward. Sorry to have run off again like that, but I just couldn't wait around twiddling my thumbs another moment more. But she's still spying instead of talking to him. We have for you a letter from one Miss Eloise's health, Capel. Did you hear that? He's coming. 
her to reply. We should return to Miketo's amphitheater at once. I don't want to be here when he sent our post Moogle friends all the way back there. Yes, it would be rather awkward with his letter to have no recipients. Let us explain the situation to Lizette and wait for Bhakti and Cup's delivery. They could have just spoken, right? <laughs> Right there! Nope. Meters away. <laughs> well, I suppose letters should be more romantic. That's what people say. I wouldn't know. Okay, let's talk to her. These decorations are really cute, especially in the night time. Our eminent adversary of adoration and affection is with us once more. And now that we are assembled, we've only to wait for the custodians of Ezelman's reply. I feel sick to my stomach. If I've angered him, if it calls off the whole engagement. Okay. Wow, she's really nervous. We have returned and we your beloved Spain stickingly banned posting pop. I was drawn to your advice in particular. I wrote down all my worries, concerns and questions in a clear and concise fashion. And he responded with, well, with some confusion it seems. Although now at least he's aware of my trouble, of what troubles me. And for that he says he's grateful. It's very sweet here, you see tells me that together we will go down this list of mine and solve one problem at a time. Where we live and how it will be up to us to decide, not his family. Wow. Spying on you, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that's cute. friends where would I be without your help and I promise yours will be the first invitations we post once we settle on a day Wow okay goodness gracious me do my eyes deceive me Bukti Piku you're you're bomb why, it's adopted the very shape of the seasons. And he's lovely beyond compare, Cabal. He's much of a muchness with mine. That's why I flutter myself to think so. <laughs> I can't rightly explain it, but seeing those two together brought a flutter to my chest, a spring to my wings, and the next thing I knew, my palm began to tingle in the most peculiar of ways. It's just some 
such a marvelous thing to know that we've had a hand in the ushering Ezelbeel's and Alois' story into its next chapter. And to think it was all performed strictly through the art of the post. Affectionate missives are more than just a silly folder, oh? I assume them to be. I see now that they show what's in our hearts, like nothing else can. And we emissaries are their trusted custodians. That we are, Pukti. Only do remember that letters require more than just love. They are also in need of names and addresses. And speaking of names, perhaps you might bestow one upon us little Chocobo? Think of it as a show of not only kindness, but of love too. A show of love, you say? Mm, I suppose you're right. I was never able to recall the names given by my Mughal acquaintances, but I bet I could arrive at something that actually sticks. I will give it some thought. Make sure I've done the brief spur justice. are credit to the emissaries of all and affection with your hardship, Pop. It is most sincere honor to have you among our ranks, and I pray that you will continue this most rewarding work. I will have nothing more, Kapo! What joy to be blessed with so many couriers and indices of sublimity, no less. It is heartening indeed to watch our numbers grow and grow, for with so many. We can ensure that ardor and affection accompany all the fair creatures of this realm, where their journeys take them. Oh, Chickaboo is pretty happy. Okay, battle errors. Okay, here we shall we shall have other yeah. The hearts and the Valentine's mobile to decorate your house. Which is these things here that we have. All the hearts, the silver hearts, the red hearts, and the stars. You can have one of these in our homes. One or more. You can buy only one over there. And here it is the secondary mission, which we Bukti Pika. So we can get the left and right side of the prismatic hearts. Let's just do one just to see what this is all about.
Oops. that you can see all the, all the troubles. Okay, we got to run answers. 
because he did a little dance around. <laughs> dreams of the wider world. really heavy. you're having right now without me, considering your tendency to be cold and cruel and heartless. It wouldn't surprise me the least if I were to learn you've forgotten all about me. Why, oh why must I be the one writing you? Your beautiful branch is deserving of much more attention than you deem fit to provide. How mean and terrible and rude you are, sapling. My beautiful ranch field. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy. Sweetest sapling, I am positively delighted to receive a message from you. Of that much, I can assure you. And only that much. For as far as the contents of your letter are concerned, I am less than pleased. No, I am putting it too lightly. I am so far from pleased that I find myself incensed, wrathful, furious. You, the sapling, should show your lovely branch the affection I so rightly deserve. Ouch. Okay, so you can get the things all over again and pick the cool messes. On second thought, perhaps not? different gets if we pick different answer. <laughs> and now we attach flowers and chocolates to the letter. Let's see how different her, her response is this time. I just knew my sweet little sapling could suss out who I was from the clues I planted in my letter. Your affection for me was read so plainly in your last correspondence, I shall return it here in kind. How could I do less? How completely different. My precious sapling, wherever your travels may take you, whatever the roads you walk lead, know that my heart goes with you. Every step of every path, be they through dungeons dank and dark, or to mountain peaks magnificent. I am there, watching over you, always and forever. Wow, that was a dance. Okay everyone, so that's it. These were the quests for the Valentine's seasonal event here in Final Fantasy uh, We got the Chocobo Party, the Valentine's event, and we can use the Prismatic Hearts. The left side. And the right. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Princess Ferris signing off. Take care and good gaming. Bye.